Hi everyone and uh, welcome. Here is Bruce Human from Bruce Human Academy. And today we're gonna speak about chakras, the power of chakras opening. And first of all, let's figure out what are chakras. As most of you already know, chakras are energy centers. Those energy centers are positioned all along the spine and each of these energy points is connected to a specific organ. So first of all, uh, the very first chakra would be Muladhara. This chakra is uh, located just between the anus and the sex. This chakra is connected to the earth and its opening provides somehow all the energies that earth can provide. By opening the chakra of, of the earth, Muladhara, you would strengthen your muscles, your immunity, your bones, your marrow. When you're working on the chakras, most of the time uh, the um, opening of the uh, chakra of the earth is the basic, the very first chakra you would work on. Opening the chakra of the earth is uh, recommended when you want to strengthen your immunity, when you have some health issues, whatever issue it could be. I mean, if your health issues are about uh, some uh, serious disease, then yes, it's still highly recommended to work on the earth chakra. It will strengthen your health. The power of the earth is low. Working on the power of the earth can as well lead to the rise of your physical strength. People which are naturally connected to the chakra, Muladhara, are people which are quite grounded. You can find people which are strongly connected to the to his frequency, the frequency of the earth in the countryside, but as well um, people from uh, from the mountains as well. Strangely, it does happen that um, people which are living in cities are slightly or tremendously depends or sometimes dramatically disconnected from this connection to the earth. So this earth energies and this earth connection is generally quite popular and uh, when you want to work on the chakras this first one would be definitely the, um, the first one that I would recommend. Some people say that uh, when you unlock completely the, uh, the chakra, the chakra of the earth, Muladhara, it could lead you to the power of levitation, some mastering and control on gravitation. I personally had a, a lot of feedback of people telling me that they know someone which is uh, working sometime in, uh, on Tantrism or some of the time into uh, a Buddhist discipline and they have been the, the witness of uh, some uh, levitation manifest manifestation. Personally, I uh, never have seen that by myself. And intimately, I would confess that I'm not that much obsessed by this kind of powers because um, at the end of the day, I don't see the interest to uh, uh, practice such things um, as levitation. Of course, working on this chakra, the chakra of the earth, can have some um, psychological influence as well, obviously. 
the collective modern mental and the collective thoughts are generally uh, scattered. So there is definitely a lack of grounding in modern life. And um, all these social medias, all these swapping are um, obviously uh, participating to this uh, lack of focusing. So this grounding and the grounding to the earth can help you to get more focused, more grounded and um, less lost psychologically, less scattered on your thoughts. Of course, um, you have to keep in mind that when you're working on your chakras uh, and you're working on some personal energies, inner energies, you would somehow work on some pause on the development. But as far as you're working on powers, as far as you're working on energies, you have to understand that you're working as well on your ego. Energies, powers are ego. So as far as it's important to have a structured ego, uh, you always have to keep in mind that you should be careful about this powers, this energy, and always keep a distance with them. The bad side of um, the um, Earth energy is that, uh, or maybe the sometimes dark side, is that um, a lack of Earth energy w w would make you feel on uh, fear for your own survival and it would uh, connect you to your own pitiness. And that's the problem. Um, you have to consider the opening of the uh, chakra as a breathing. When you're opening a chakra, the energies which are related to this chakra are expanding and then they would re reduce and by reducing they would be somehow depleted so the danger is to face the dark side of these powers as far as you want to connect with them the second chakra is Vadistana is uh, it's the chakra which is uh, connected to the sex it's uh, the organ that it's relied with um, are the kidneys. Working on the on the energy of the uh, of the kidney of the sex as this very particular chakra will open your um, it will open the spectrum of your sexual energies. You would spread very sugar tasty sugar energies. Uh, sexual energies all around you. It would it could provoke some kind of sexual attraction. You have to understand that some chakras are definitely um, as to say feminine and some others masculine. And as far as it would be easier for men to master and connect to the chakra of the earth, it would be easier to women to master and connect to the uh, second chakra as well as the chakra of the sex. Of course, a man which can easily connect to the chakra of the sex uh, could use it, and it should be used in a good way, um, as a power of attraction. And the danger is that it could, of course, lead to some powers of control. The energy of the sex are very agreeable, these are the energies as well of um, flexibility, so it could be used on some commercial ways, commercial interactions. As far as this energy is quite feminine, it's as well an, an, an energy which can lead you to lucidity. Connect to more observance. The opening of the chakra of the sex 
can as well lead you to some other special power which would be the power to communicate with animals it's interesting to understand that animals have a special chakra opening by themselves but as far as you need to use a human body to raise your vibration the vibratory arousal of animals is most of the time quite limited because the consciousness of animal is not as much individual as our consciousness for most of animals the consciousness is partly individual but uh, partly collective as well um, for instance when we get to point the insects let's speak about the ants um, concerning the ants it's uh, 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 it was obvious let's say that the ants are really co all connected to each other and have um, collective consciousness even better they are evolving on a collective intelligence so the opening of the chakra of the sex would be the upper hand the, um, the high level of uh, 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 vibratory rising of animals Not animals would naturally on their uh, incarnation and evolution be connected to the chakra of the earth quite naturally but by evolving and uh, even on, on an animal body the, the consciousness is evolving and the vibration is rising animal can um, move up from the energy of the earth to the energy of the um, uh, water the uh, chakra of the sex by opening the chakra of the sex you would be able to create a direct link of communication with animals you would connect to some very special sensitivity and empathy which leads you to have this natural connection and um, you could communicate quite telepathically with them the connection of, uh, uh, to the sex would be as, as well attractive to animals it's, uh, uh, this is an, uh, an attractive uh, energy for humans which are animals as well and for animals in general that's a feeling of pleasure the connection to this um, energy point the uh, chakra of the sex is recommended as well um, when you have some uh, urinal problems or any kind of problems linked to the kidney by moving off moving off to the uh, third chakra Manipura we are moving to uh, the energy point of the belly and it is connected to the organs of the liver the stomach Manipura is, is a center of um, a magnetism natural uh, strength and will that's um, a power of that's the power of um, the commanders, the leaders, the managers it's a very masculine energy it would be most of the time difficult to, to women to connect to this um, belly energy, energy point easier for men this is the um, energy point and the power of control but mostly of uh, controlling uh, your emotions 
Then it does conduct to some kind of special tension by gathering the emotions, controlling them. You can feel yourself quite tense. As far as this um, energy point is, um, is a frequency of control, it would be harder to be uh, too uh, flexible when you're uh, located on this area. Connecting to this energy and opening this very special chakra would be recommended uh, when you have some uh, digestion problems. The fourth chakra is the chakra of the heart, Anahata. By connecting to this energy, you're opening yourself to love. You would spread the feeling of being loved and you will inspire love. This um, energy point is uh, quite connected to the uh, realm of the dreams, the inner sensitivity. Um, psychologically speaking, we could say that the opening of the uh, chakra of the heart could be somehow tricky as well on the way that it does open the animus the unconscious, unconscious part of your mind. You would, by, by opening this chakra, you would inspire love, you would feel love, you would feel empathy as well, but therefore you would be um, empathic with yourself as well, more understanding with your uh, inner sensitivity, and you will open this door, the, the door of the unconscious mind, the door of the animus. And then you could somehow meet all the ghosts and the corpse in the closet. You would meet your inner demons. When we rise up to the uh, chakra of the heart, already uh, we have done um, uh, quite an upgrade. If you're able to connect to the energy of your own heart, you will discover as well the faculty to, to be a healer. That's because of your own empathy. And you would be quite um, already advanced on your spiritual path, on your spiritual lane. Opening the chakra of the heart could helps you as well to connect to this uh, sense of let it go, of being sacrificial. This art energy is something that we meet uh, quite oftenly uh, in Christianity traditionally. So the fifth chakra is uh, Vishuddha, the, this is the chakra of the throat. Normally you would reach this energy, energy point, the chakra of the throat on your life path when you start to get hold. Uh, most of the time people which are um, around uh, 70 years old start to connect uh, quite seriously with the chakra of the throat. As far as we're getting old, the human consciousness would uh, naturally connect to different parts uh, of the body and uh, will uh, rise all along the spines, rising uh, one's vibration naturally. When you're a child, you're, uh, you're quite connected to uh, the anus and the matter. Um, by uh, getting older, uh, four or five, uh, five years old, you get aware of your environment. The uh, Manipura Chakra and the Chakra of Belly, which is um, as well connected to this feeling to uh, be uh, revolted against uh, the authority, against the parents, and uh, searching for your own identity. Um, the, the, the chakra of the belly is, is connected to the teenage root. Um, when you start to uh, uh, be an adult, 
you would connect to Vishakra of the arts and uh, you're uh, definitely uh, are pushed on this uh, position when you when you have children because uh, that's biologic it's natural you, you, you need to uh, be connected to this feeling of empathy to put, uh, protect your children and uh, definitely connected to the heart and when you get older you connect to the throat get to understand that the um, the energy of the throat is the energy of violence it's a uh, it's an energy of uh, cold control it's opened up as well the power of uh, telepathy and it's the power as well of the verb, the power of eloquence, the power of speech. The sixth chakra is the uh, chakra which is uh, located between the both eyebrows. It's called the third eye. By rising to this energy point, you uh, connect directly to your pineal gland. And uh, this is an open door for uh, unlimited consciousness. When you're connected to this particular chakra, this third eye, you're naturally mastering all the other chakras. But this is the energy point of consciousness. This is the core of incarnation. By being located on this uh, very particular energy point, you instantly make distance with all the other states of energy, all the other steps of power. Going on some kind of um, intellectual works connects you naturally to the third eye, but you can connect to it spontaneously and naturally as well without thinking and you would feel it it would burn when too much energies are accumulated in the third eye you can have headaches or you can feel some um, somehow some aggressivity some spiritual masters were commanding to their disciples and students to ignore completely all the other chakras and only connect on the third eye. Whatever, even if this connection to the third eye can open you to some special power as uh, being a medium or other things like that, this is still a power, this is still a, a frequency, this is still a set state, and this is still a, a form of energy. When you're reaching the ultimate chakra, which is the seventh chakra on the crown of your head, its name is Sahasrana, you open your consciousness and you're entering to the switch of the individual consciousness to even better than collective consciousness. I would speak here about universal consciousness. In a matter of fact, this uh, seventh chakra is uh, not even located at the top of your head. It's located some centimeters above your head. And believe it or not, this energetic point which is out of your body is still you and now we're here entering um, on, a, on the realm of something completely different the understanding just by this example that actually your consciousness is not only not located on your body but your consciousness is not local This energy, energy point, which is above your head, is located on space. 
And this is the node of your consciousness. Not located on your body. Then as you can understand, the body has seven main chakras. But, as I said, these are the main chakras. Any part of your body can be a chakra. Any part of your body can be an energy point. Even if any part of your body would be related to an organ. But what I'm saying is that if I gather all the energies of my body on my hand, my hand would be energetically, magnetically as well, charged. And my hand will become a, a chakra, or let's call it a sub-chakra.